Hey YouTube, this is Everything he Pan here, and today we are going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows 8 Build 8056 in VMware. Now, the only reason I have to do this in VMware is because whenever I did the ISO with VirtualBox, it came up with an error trying to boot into the setup, and uh, then I tried uh, copying over my previous virtual uh, hard drive that I had in a VMware installation that was successful and it came up with that same error trying to boot into the uh, operating system. So, um, since it works on VMware, I'm going to show you how to do it for VMware. So for VirtualBox, as of right now, I have not gotten this build to work. I don't know if this works for other builds, but this is um, the build I've been testing out lately, and it has not worked for VirtualBox. So, we're going to do this tutorial for VMware, and let's go ahead and get right into it. So we'll go ahead and open up VMware, and then uh, we're going to create a new virtual machine here. And we're going to browse for our ISO, and mine is located in my Windows 8 directory. And there it is. It is only a 32-bit operating system, so um, it'll say Windows 10 detected. That's okay. And then uh, you can use the easy install method right here. So that means it can um, you can put in the product key that is included in the description with the ISO, and then it will do this installation basically all for you. And so you can do that, or you can go through the installation um, yourself. So I'm actually going to do the easy install. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in the product key, um, enter in the product key, and also rename this to everything EPAN. And for this, um, just go ahead and I don't know why it's popping up with this Windows Server stuff. Go ahead and just do Windows Server uh, 2012 R2 standard. And then uh, go ahead and enter in the product key up here. So I'm going to do that quick and click next, and I'll be right back. So after you have that finished, you can name your virtual machine. Um, I'm just going to name it Windows 8 Build 8056, and go ahead and click next. And then the recommended, they say, 60 gigs, which I think is ridiculous. You really only need 25, or maybe even 20, but I'll put 25 just in case. So let's go ahead and click next on this, and then I'm going to customize this so I have uh, two gigabytes of RAM dedicated to this operating system. So let's go ahead and hit close. You can uh, leave it at a gig, I guess, if you want, but two gigs might be better if you can. And then go ahead and hit finish, and it will uh, create your disk, and it's going to power on after the creation here. So it's going to go through the process of creating your uh, virtual hard disk. So just kind of let this uh, go through here, and I'll be back with you guys once the uh, VM restarts. So here we are, it is now booting up after the uh, hard disk creation here. It's going to say loading files in the bottom uh, corner there. And uh, now it's going to boot up into the setup. So uh, it'll say welcome, and this is what the boot screen used to look like in the beta of uh, Windows 8. And you can't even see my cursor, but I'm kind of like circling around the fish right now. It used to have this fish on here, which was quite interesting. Um, for that theme they kind of had with uh, Windows 8 in the beta stages. So um, once that uh, loads up, and if you hear a little clicking or keyboard typing, I'm working on something else on my uh, uh, netbook here to try and uh, maybe do a uh, actual hardware video again. So it'll say setup is starting in the in the video here. So here it comes up with the Windows Developer Preview. Um, selection here to um, select which one you want to up, uh, install and that's the only one that's available click next and then you are on your way so this everything else should go by itself for you so um, that should be the only step you should have to do but I will let you know otherwise um, during this installation so just let this go this could take a range from 5 to 15 minutes and uh, it's going to install could take up to 20 minutes, but it should be no longer than 15 minutes. Um, so just kind of just let this run through, and I'll be right back with you guys if anything pops up or if we are in the operating system. Okay, so I may have just got that in. That's going to do our first restart here during the setup here, and it still should do everything for you. You'll see you'll um, get the welcome screen again with the uh, fish on there. So just keep letting this run and it should keep doing everything for you until you reach your um, desktop so 
just uh, keep letting this go through the setup and I'll be back with you guys if any windows pop up or if uh, we get to the desktop and you see it's going to update its registry settings and then uh, it's going to go through a couple more things and then you should be ready to go so I may not have to pause this it might actually pop up here real quick because the cursor is open Java get out of here Cursor's open here, and I don't know if it's going to pop up or not. So it's, it's still preparing, so just let this run for a bit, and I'll be back with you guys in a bit. So now after a while, it's going to come up with the logon screen and uh, automatically log you in. It'll say Windows Developer Preview on the bottom. It'll uh, say Preparing Your PC, and eventually you should get to the desktop. So it's just as easy as that. It does most of this for you without very much doing it anything and uh, basically all you had to do was just uh, select the version you wanted to install and that was it and that was the it was only one option anyway so really all you had to do is click next and you were on your way so now there it is um, and it's automatically going to install VMware tools in here so um, just let this run through and uh, it'll help with the screen resolution and other stuff so I'll be right back and just letting you guys know it will automatically reboot your uh, machine here so do not worry if it just automatically closes down after you on you after the uh, VMware tool setup so um, it's gonna restart automatically and then uh, load back into the desktop so I'll be right back when it loads back in so now it's all back in and you see the screen is just a little bit bigger but you can obviously uh, change that in the settings here and it does still have the Windows 7 sounds um, in here I know Windows 8 didn't have a startup sound but uh, if you uh, go to sounds here um, in the OS you see that uh, it does still contain the exit windows and then also log off and log on right there and then uh, it, you can play the Windows startup sound right there, which is the default one. So, uh, there you go, guys. That's how to install Windows 8, build 8056. If you want me to do any more builds of Windows 8, please let me know in the comments down below, and I can do as best I can to try and find that specific build for you to do a tutorial on. Um, if you want me to do any betas of any other operating systems, like uh, if I could do any more Longhorn builds or Vista beta builds, technically, for the post-reset, um, Whistler betas, anything, any tutorials, not even just Windows, um, Linux tutorials, please leave comments down below on what you want to see. So, um, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, comment your ideas down below, and do not forget to subscribe. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.